can Miss Karen come out? <laughs> it's it's my my turn to talk now. <laughs> memory is probably not as good as mine. I think I met Karen when she was still a teenager, actually. Uh, because I remember her turning up um, to her sister's painting class. So you would have, you would have been a teenager then. Yeah. Now I'm going to talk about Karen. <laughs> Karen, uh, as I said, I've, I've known her for many, many years. She's been a loyal friend to me. Um, those who don't know that much about Karen, is, it's quite enlightening to know that, to start with, at the age of 12, she was blitzing her competition at the Stedfords and competitions in ballet. She went to the Australian Ballet School, which is no mean feat to get into that, because it's the best of the best at getting to, into the Australian Ballet School. She danced with Kolobok, and I distinctly remember when Kolobok came to Newcastle, and they're at the Civic Theatre looking down on the stage and seeing this beautiful blonde Russian girl dancing on stage. It wasn't a Russian girl, it was Karen from Belmont North. <laughs> Karen went to the UK and danced with Kasatka uh, and danced all over Europe, one of the largest, one of the best, I should say, one of the best uh, troops in, particularly in doing character dancing. Uh, she's also danced with the Sydney Dance Company. Uh, she's had her ballet schools in numerous forms, and it's been a wonder, wonderful time to actually work with Karen during that period of time. Uh, for me, Karen had, well, Karen has devoted her entire life to dance, so it's a real honour to have Karen here to open this this opening because. For me, in terms of dance in Newcastle, Karen is a cultural icon. <laughs> and uh, I know that since she's retired from the principal of her ballet school, she's been inundated with requests to work in Sydney. So that gives you an idea of the standing of Karen as a teacher and also as a dancer. Uh, it's wonderful and um, it's just incredible to see these three lovely young girls here as an example of what Karen teaches and how she teaches and the quality that she gets out of her students. Karen, it's wonderful. Thank you so much. Firstly, there's that. <laughs> Enjoy it. And so much for coming and one also one other area I would like to just mention thank you very much to the models that have yes. been yes. in these works yes. they have yes. there's yes. two yes. Uh, yes. three back there and Katie is there as well um, somewhere and, and Laura is there as well so they're there, they want to come up, yeah. we'd love to see them. <laughs> Just a very special thanks to these people. Um, at times when you're working, you, you start to get bogged down and you, you think, where's my next work going to come from? And then these people will come into your studio and then bang! All of a sudden, you've got so much inspiration, and you get this incredible boost as if somebody's got 12 volts and stuck in your backside. All of a sudden, you really want to work, and I must say that it's been wonderful having these these people inspiring me. And thank you so much. And I hope there'll be more paintings coming out with you. And uh, and hopefully, somewhere along the line, these little girls here may, and, may yes. end up uh, on yes, campus as well. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, thank you.
thank you everyone for coming along and supporting um, supporting the uh, exhibition of the gallery. It's been wonderful to see you all here. Please tell your friends about the exhibition. Tell them to come along and enjoy it. And uh, as I said, let's party. <laughs>